This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 115 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's topic is sponsored by Equestrian Collections for the whole universe of equestrian shopping at your fingertips at a price you can afford. Enjoy today's tip. This is Glenn McGeek from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Happy New Year, everybody. This is the last show we'll be doing this week, and we'll be back on Monday with a full boat of five shows next week. Sorry for the two shortened weeks, but with the holidays and everything, I was actually enjoying them, too. So we, we appreciate your patience there, and we, we, we are very happy today to have a new expert on with us. It's appropriate for a new year to have a new expert. She is a vet in California who's widely known for her work in chiropractic and acupuncture. Dr. Carrie DeLue graduated with honors from Cornell University and went on to get her veterinary degree at UC Davis. She did a postgraduate internship at Pilchuck Veterinary Hospital in Seattle, Washington in 2002, where she focused on equine emergency medicine. After completing her internship, Dr. DeLue remained at Pilchuck to further focus on equine sports medicine while continuing to see emergency cases. She completed her chiropractic training from the Healing Oasis Wellness Center in Wisconsin and her acupuncture certification from the International Veterinary Acupuncture Society. She has worked closely with Dr. Michael Sawiski and continues to study traditional Chinese medicine with the Chai Institute. And we'll get to Dr. Delu in one moment, but first I want to tell you what's going on over at Equestrian Collections. They have some huge end-of-the-year sales going on. You can visit Equestrian Collections now at equestriancollections.com to check out the fantastic specials up to 70% off. Fantastic sale prices can be found on many name brands, including Mountain Horse. You will found, find Mountain Horse jackets and shirts and hats and gloves on sale now while supplies last. See the sale details on the website at equestriancollections.com. Happy New Year to everyone from Equestrian Collections. And now, Dr. DeLue. Well, hi, Dr. DeLue, and welcome to Horse Tip Daily. This is your first show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. You know, this little show has really taken off, and we're just so glad that you could be part of it. We have, uh, well, I think this month we're going to go over 10,000 listeners to this little show every day, uh, which just cracks me up. But uh, it's because I have cool people like you on the show. Oh, well, that's exciting. I love getting the word out about what I do. I'm very passionate about it, and I think it makes a big difference. And you were recommended by one of our other experts, our massage expert. So that was that was kind of cool, and I, I appreciate her doing that. Tell us a little bit about your background and, and where you are now and, and what you're doing now. I am currently in the San Francisco Bay Area, and my practice focuses fairly specifically on chiropractic and acupuncture and herbal medicine for horses. I uh, originally was doing equine emergency medicine after I finished vet school in Davis, And then I went and got certified in the chiropractic and acupuncture because those unfortunately aren't taught in vet school yet. They're taught about, but the actual practice, pretty soon, pretty soon we'll learn about that in vet school. So, yeah, on a day-to-day basis, I am treating a lot of athletes and a lot of just pets. You know, it ranges from Olympic competitors to the backyard horse. You know, they all sort of have a need in a variable way for what I do. So what I know what DVM means. What does what's a VSMT? That's the word that they use for veterinary spinal manipulative therapist. Um, I so would not have ever guessed that one. <laughs> <laughs> so don't like us to use the word chiropractor necessarily. So the the course for vets is actually a vet uh, course in spinal manipulative therapy which is basically chiropractic work. It's just the the abbreviation is different. Well, I know. I would have never guessed that. And then you also have a CVA. And that is a certified veterinary acupuncturist. Ah, there we go. All right. Well, I learned something new today. You know, you see all these veterinarians with all these initials, and you don't know what half of them mean. So uh, (laughs) so it's good good to learn that. Now, you practice out of where? I practice out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, well, there's no horses out there at all. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pretty fun. I bet. Yeah, nice you weather. got. Yeah, you got. You got a rough life out there practicing. Out, you got great restaurants too. Um, so okay, so that's where you practice, and you're working for uh, what? What's the name of your practice? I have my own business. It's okay. called Equine Holistic Sports Medicine, and I, I just started it about a year ago. I had previously worked at a big referral hospital up in Washington State, cool. which was wonderful but cold and rainy. So I moved back home and uh, enjoying the warm weather here working on the horses. And are you enjoying what you do now? You, you Obviously, uh, you, you go into vet school thinking about one thing, and usually you come out thinking about something else, which I think was probably the case in your case. Um, yeah, I did originally think I wanted to be a surgeon, and I spent some time in where you guys are in Lexington at Rudin and Riddle, and um, I just realized I was a bit more of a hands-on person as far as diagnosing problems. You know, I'd rather be touching the muscles than looking at the x-rays, so this became my path. Cool. Well, that's so cool. All right, so what are we going to talk about for our first tip? One of the first things I wanted to talk about was a lot of people call me and they know there's something going on with their horse. They're fairly unsure exactly what it is or why it's happening. And they don't know if a chiropractic appointment would be a good place to start. So here are a few things that might give people an idea if having me or someone that does something similar um, look at their horse. Okay. A first one would be any sort of lameness problem because horses as most of us know are amazingly good at compensating. You know, it takes three hurt legs to make them limp on one. They just, they do a really good job kind of keeping themselves safe and uh, moving soundly even if they hurt. So any lameness issue would cause them to do a lot of compensation in the rest of their body. So that would be a, a, a big red flag. But most people don't have lame horses or they would have already had the regular vet out and had them looked at. Um, the less obvious thing would be asymmetry, which would be the horse moving differently one direction to another. Mo- like most people are right-handed. Right. Most horses are actually left-handed. Oh, I didn't know that. And with training, often they get more even. You know, they'll pick up their right lead when you're going to the right, a left lead when you're going to the left. But if you start to notice that your horse is having more trouble with one lead than the other, something could easily be out of alignment. The pelvis would be kind of a big one that would contribute to them not wanting to pick up a certain lead. So how do you know... Okay, so we'll keep going, and then I'll ask that. Um, So things that are just looking at your horse that might help you know it's asymmetrical would be like if it has two different size front feet, uh, kind of a smaller upright foot and then a bigger, flatter front foot because it's probably putting a lot more weight on the bigger, flatter foot. Okay. You, and with more horses, it's the less front that's the bigger, flatter foot. So less lead, less front's bigger, it's taking more weight. So we know that there's a lot of areas in the body that probably aren't as even as they should be. Okay. How do you know when... Okay, so I'm coming back to how do you know when to call the chiropractor and not the veterinarian, or do you always call the veterinarian? What, what, do, you, what do you do there? Well... You know, I I am a veterinarian. Right, so right, right. It depends on the client. Um, but, you know, if the, if there's a really obvious head bob and one leg is clearly hurt, it could be something like an abscess, which I certainly wouldn't tell someone, oh, I'll adjust your horse's lower neck and they'll be sound. Right. Because there's something in the foot that's much more painful than just the neck being a little bit stuck. So with most chiropractic problems, it's not they're fine one day and then the next day they're really lame. It's a more gradual um, kind of problem that develops based on which muscles they're using and which ones they're not using. And they kind of get uneven just like we get uneven because we all have a hand that is more dominant. Now, do you get most of this sort of follows up that question? Do you get most of your new clients from referrals is that how they come to you? And, and do you actually have veterinarians that will refer you, you know, uh, just yeah. regular vets? Yeah, I would say it's about 50-50. There will be regular vets that will send referrals. Um, usually it's back pain because there aren't that many ways 
that were taught in vet school to address back pain. Mm -hmm. Um, And chiropractic is a really well-recognized way to help improve the comfort in the joints of the back. So I would say about half my referrals are from vets that notice back pain in horses. And then the other half would be clients noticing themselves that their horse is flinchy, or I'm going to talk about some more changes in behavior that, you know, they might have noticed that they called about or a massage therapist that feels the horse is really tight in a certain area and they can't seem to get that freed up and think chiropractic work may help. You know, I was just going to ask you how you feel about the whole, uh, you know, massage, uh, the massage practice out there, um, how you feel about that. But I think you just answered that in a way. Um, you, you obviously feel it's a, it's a good idea. Um, the massage yeah, therapist is what I'm asking about. Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, they do a great job. And one of the small issues is every state has different rules in massage therapy. Right. Some need to be supervised by a veterinarian. Some have to have a certain number of hours. Some have to be certified in people first. So you kind of run into problems where, I wouldn't just trust any massage therapist with my client's horse. You know, I really need to know their background and um, and establish a trusting relationship because you can do damage if you're not uh, appropriately trained. Well, y- yes, uh, for people and horses. Um. Exactly. <laughs> now, you also do dogs as well, I see. I do. I yeah. do dogs as well, well a couple kinda... days a week. It is, it's, it's fun. It's just really exciting to see the change. I mean, most animals are scared of the vet just because they've been poked and prodded. And um, you kind of get to establish this new relationship of they leave feeling better than when they arrived. And oh, so they th- like you. And so, that's part of why I love what I do. Oh, so right, exactly. Like They're me. always happy. <laughs> the horses, sometimes you can tell and sometimes you can't, but uh, the dogs are always happy. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so um, I think our tip then is basically, you know, don't overlook the chiropractor. when, uh, And I think that is something that, that, that a lot of people, they probably have chiropractic treatments themselves and overlook it for their horse. Um, exactly. And a lot of them will have their horse done before they even consider it for themselves. Well, that is, is true. That's <laughs> that's more the case, I think. Uh, being a horse husband, I, I would have totally agree with that. <laughs> so, um, all right, great. So where can people find out more about you? Um, I have a website. It's Um And my practice is out of San Francisco. And are you taking My new clients? My email address, if people have questions, they can definitely email okay. me at delu, D-E-L-E-E-U-W-D-V-M at yahoo.com. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions people who think they are on the fence about chiropractic treatment. All right, that's great. And, of course, we'll have, if you just go to horsetipdaily.com, we have a bio page on there for Dr. Delu with all the links to everything that she's talked about today. And you are taking new clients, right? I I am taking new clients, Okay, good. So stop over to uh, horsetipdaily.com, and you'll find the link there to equineholisticvetmed.com. Well, thanks, Dr. Delu. Will you come back again? Thank you. Yes, it's been a pleasure. I'll tell you what. Let's talk about acupuncture next time because that's an area that I'm fascinated in, and I doubt I would ever let anybody stick a needle in me, but I am fascinated by it. So let's talk about it. (laughs) Absolutely. I would enjoy it. Bye-bye. Well, thanks to Dr. Delu for joining us and becoming a new ex- the newest expert, the first one here uh, for 2010, becoming the newest expert on Horse Tip Daily. We appreciate you joining us, and I'm sure we'll have her back soon. Well, you can also, uh, what I'd like to do is remind you that Amazon has become a partner of ours, and if you're ever going to buy something from Amazon, I don't care whether it's toilet paper or electronics or, or what it is, just stop by to horsetipdaily.com first and click on the Amazon banner in the middle of the page there. We get a little bit of a kickback for everything that you buy, and you can help support the Horse Radio Network that way, and we certainly do appreciate that. So I just wanted to remind you of that. And also, we'd love to hear from you this year in 2010. Send us an email at glenn with two ends at horseradionetwork.com. And if you have an idea of somebody that make a great expert on the show, somebody you respect and that you know maybe, we'd lo- or if you want to become an expert, 
expert on the show, and you're you're good at a certain subject that maybe we're not covering yet. We really do want to get more into the Western world here. Just drop me an email at Glenn with two N's at horseradionetwork.com. Don't forget to check out all the other great shows on the network at horseradionetwork.com. All right, everybody. Until tomorrow, we'll be back with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Thank you.